Hey, happy Friday. We do a little happy dance because it is Friday. It is Friday. And I hope your day is going spectacularly, wonderfully well. Mine's going pretty well. I found out this morning who I needed to send an email to to do my official notice that I'm leaving the, the firm I work for. So I sent them an email this morning and I haven't checked my email anymore because I had no work to do. So I just logged out and went on about my day. I did some, I put up some laundry, like, you know, folded and put away some clean clothes and puttered around and I don't know. My son had a book that he needed for school and he left it at home. So I had to go take it to him at school. I did that. Um, I don't know. Look at my lovely hair. I like the length. I really do. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I do. It was starting to look a little stringy. So, yeah, we decided to, to shorten it up a little bit. Who's honking? Stop that shit. Be happy. Bunch of assholes around here. So, where am I going? I am, you know what I'm doing? I can't decide if I'm hot or cold. I was cold a minute ago. Now I'm not. I don't know. I am going to Goodwill. I got a, it's so funny yesterday. Damn it. I, I, at least I remembered it this time. I went, I was going to take some stuff to Goodwill yesterday. The stuff that I've been meaning to take like all week. I got halfway to Goodwill and realized I didn't put it in the car. No, it was still at home. I didn't put it in it like, well, shit. So I decided to keep going. I said, you know what? I still want to go. I can dang it I'll just have to take it tomorrow so and then it was funny because I, I bought a couple things and I come, I come out of the store I get in my car and right when I sat down in the car I got a text from Goodwill with a 25% off coupon I said I literally just left your damn store but the th it's not good until it wasn't good until today anyway so it wouldn't have mattered but I thought well hell I could have just come back and gotten this stuff tomorrow for 25% off shoot so uh but uh, this coupon thing that they do is bullshit because you can only use it one time it's not it's not the kind of thing where you and they've done this before where they'll send you a coupon code and it's good all day you could go to multiple locations and use it no it's a one use thing you can make one purchase of donated goods and get 25% off not the white tag things are not 25% off but it's only, you can only use it once. You can't use it more than once. And they keep saying, oh, we're gonna have better discounts and everything because we have the little discount card that you can pay for once a year. Well, they're doing away with that later this year. It's not gonna be any good anymore. That gives you 15% off and you pay, I think it's $20 a year you pay for it, but then you get 15% off of your purchase of donated goods all year. And it's, you know, it's a pretty good deal. It, it pays for itself pretty quickly because um, I shop there a lot. Not as much as I used to, though. Oh, don't worry, though. Once we do away with the discount card, we're going to have even better deals for people. I'm sitting here going, you know damn well that's a lie. I don't even have to know what you're going to do to know it's a lie. You're going to keep doing these stupid little one-time use coupon codes, and you have to use it on a certain day. And usually when I get these coupon codes, it's for a day that I either don't want to go to Goodwill or I can't go to Goodwill. Like, but it's only good that day. If you don't use it that day, it expires. It's, it's so stupid. They're just going to do more of that. It's only good tomorrow. One use only. I hate Goodwill. I'm so sick of them. I take them all the stuff that the, uh, the little thrift store doesn't want. I don't take them my good stuff. No, they don't get any of my good stuff anymore. Heck with them. But anyway, I want to go do a little shopping, see if I can find anything that I can sell on eBay. I've been selling more stuff on eBay in the last few months. I've just kind of, because my hours at work have been down, so I've just sort of supplemented it a little bit with eBay stuff. I thought, well, if I'm not working on that, I can work on some eBay stuff, make a dollar that way. So... I'll see if I can find anything to sell. I don't really need anything. So, I, I mean, although, oh, I wanted to tell you about yesterday. So, I did my, my, my video conference call. Somebody's calling me right now. There it goes. Um, I'll call them back. 
it's uh, I, so I did the video conference call, and I, I didn't really know what to expect from the call. But let me tell you, I don't. I'm not gonna go into details about any of it. But the person I talked to said that they were looking for somebody to do. Um, I don't know how much detail I can go into. Anyway, they presented something to me that sounded really intriguing that I didn't expect. Like, oh, now that I am interested in. And I did tell them I, I'm only looking to work like 15 hours a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and, and I don't want to work any more than 15 to 18 hours a week. That's what I told them. That's what I've been doing. Well, that's what I was doing for my day job for a long time, but now my hours are down to almost none. So, and they've just slowly dwindled. They dwindled throughout the second half of 2022 down to the point. I mean, I went back and looked. They, yeah, they dropped from about, about 15 hours a week to some weeks I wouldn't even have three hours. So, I, you know, that's when I started doing a lot more with eBay. Because why not? It's not like I'm doing anything else. So, um, so anyway I decided to go to a different a different Goodwill from the ones I normally go to there's one up here on North Elm Street the fastest way to get there is on the loop we're on the loop right now this is where I normally go to get to the one on Battleground but I just went to the one on Battleground a couple of days ago and I don't really feel like I want to go to an exotic one I want to go to a different one and I always forget about the one on North Elm Street I don't know why I just forget it's there and it's actually pretty decent. I usually find pretty good stuff. It always rains the day after I get my hair done. I need a little rain bonnet. You know those little plastic bonnets, you know? Did your mom ever use one of those to keep her perm nice? My mom always had these little plastic bonnets. You tie it right under here to keep her hair from getting wet. It's not a shower cap. It's a little bonnet thingy. I mean, she had shower caps too, but if she was going out and she had just got her hair done, she would put that little plastic bonnet on it either to keep it dry or keep the wind from blowing it too much. She, I need some of those for my hair. Shoot. I was looking at some on Amazon the other day. I thought about getting one. They're about $8. I thought about getting one. Because every damn time I get my hair done, it rains. I, if, it, if we have a drought, I just need to go get my hair done. So I'm going to take my little coupon code and I'm going to go to the uh, Goodwill on North Elm, and I guess if I don't find anything, um, I'll just get back on the loop and go to the one on Battleground. I reckon. I don't know. So, I don't know what's going to happen with the job. The person I talked to did say, now it's going to be, it may be a couple of weeks before we get back to you, you know, to discuss anything further. Um, I told him about YouTube. I, I full disclosure. I just went ahead. Here it is. Here you go. He didn't seem too concerned about it. He didn't, see, he didn't ask any follow-up questions. Um, I want to be open and honest about it. Um, it sounds really interesting. It was not what I expected to hear. Um, so I don't know. I wasn't planning on. I, I wasn't. Didn't expect that. That's all I'm gonna say. I didn't expect that. I don't know what the pay would be. That's something we would have to discuss later. I, I you know, I don't know. But, uh, so, it's, yeah, it's definitely a possibility. I mean, I'm still looking around. I'm, I'm not saying that's all I'm going to focus on. I'm looking at other stuff, too. But, that's intriguing. I will say that. He piqued my interest with something that he said they were looking for. I said, oh, huh, okay. Anyway, so it's good. It's, it's good. It's good. I'm really happy about it. So, that, I feel a little better feeling like there's something, you know, there's a, there might be some certainty. I don't like uncertainty. I really don't. I like to know how things are going to go. I don't like surprises. That was a pleasant surprise, though. I, we, I thought we were going to do a call to discuss one specific job. And we did talk about that, but he said, we're also looking for somebody for this. And I said, ah, that honestly sounds more interesting to me, personally. So it sounds like it might be a really good fit because I have, 
having patent experience would help with what they're looking for. And they said they've been looking for somebody with patent experience. That's me. That's me. Pick me. Shit. Stay on the road. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm all right. <laughs> it, see, the road over here has little ridges so that if you go past the white line, it wakes you up. Or if it's Mary, it reminds her to shut the hell up and stay on the road. That's what that's for is saying, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. It's raining. Of course it's raining. I got my hair done yesterday. I try to get as many videos out of my hair as I can before I have to wash it because it never looks this magical after I wash it. It's not looking too damn magical right now, but I can fluff it out and make it pretty again. I slept on it. I, I brushed it a little bit this morning, but yeah. I only ever get a blowout when I get my roots done. I, I don't feel like spending the money on it otherwise. So, I got, she waxed my eyebrows for me. That's always nice. They don't look like little caterpillars anymore. You know, I never, I never did anything to my eyebrows until just a couple of years ago. I never did. I, I never, I never really bothered with my eyebrows. I'm glad I didn't fall into the trend of plucking my eyebrows. I never did that, but I know people who did, and now they have like no eyebrows really. I never messed with my eyebrows. One time I went to my hairdresser and she was doing this other lady's eyebrows and she said Mary because the other lady's eyebrows were like the same color as mine she said would you like me to tint your eyebrows well I've got you know plenty here to do it with and wax them I said um I don't know do they need it and she said yeah I mean she's very blunt I love that about her. she's very honest I mean if you ask for her opinion like if you have on an outfit and you really want to know how it looks ask her because she will be honest with you no, I don't like it. It doesn't look good. Well, because of this and that, I just, I just, I just don't think it looks good on you. I mean, she'll tell you the truth. If she likes it, she will say, I love it. It's beautiful. But if she doesn't, she will honestly tell you. Personally, I appreciate that. So, whenever she says, you know, we need to, we need to do your, we need to wax your eyebrows, I don't ask questions. I said, all right, get them. <laughs> I always, I just about sneeze every time she rips that wax off. Something about it makes me feel like I'm going to sneeze every time. I've only actually sneezed, I think, once. But I always feel like I'm going to sneeze right after she does it. <laughs> it's a whoo. It hurts for several seconds after they pull that wax strip off. She just yanks it off, you know. Anyway, very interesting, I'm sure. Uh, but I try to get as many videos as I can while my hair still looks nice before I have to wash it. Because eventually my scalp just starts to feel so greasy I can't stand it anymore. This loop takes us all the way up to North Elm Street. And that's where we're going. It's a nice little shortcut instead of driving all the way through town. Which I hate doing because it takes for freaking ever. But you get on this little loop, it's no problem at all. It's fantastic. Not much traffic right now. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, I guess I'll have to check my email when I get back and see what, and see if anybody responded to my email about leaving the firm. I gave them two weeks. I said I want my last day to be two weeks from today. I think two weeks should be plenty of time to do whatever needs to be done. Um, should be. I mean, technically, I mean, I could be available longer if they need me to be because if this other job works out, he did tell me, um, you know, we would not be ready to make an offer to you for it, you know, probably a month so, because we have to get everything worked out. We have to get approval for, you know, we, there's a lot that has to happen before we can make an offer, you know, if, if that happens. So we, we wouldn't need you two weeks from now anyway. So I could technically be available longer, but I didn't tell them that because I'd kind of like to have a couple of weeks with no day job. In my entire adult life, I've been working since the week I turned 16. I'm about, I'm, I turned 50 this year. I wouldn't mind having a couple of weeks with no, with no day job. That would be, that would be fine by me. Although, this, uh, <laughs> November of 2018, I didn't have a day job that whole month and I about went crazy. I about lost my mind. 
I, I got so bored. Oh my God, I got so bored. I had another job lined up, but it wasn't gonna start until December 3rd. I was going nuts. I got all my Christmas shopping done. I got my tree up. I got everything wrapped. I was totally ready for Christmas before Thanksgiving. And I was still bored. Like, I, I can't stand this. So I was really, really happy to get back to work. I love to work. I do. I really love to work. I don't like not having a job. I don't. I'm going to be that person at 90 that's still stumbling into Walmart to work. I feel so bad for people that have to do that, though. I'm, I do. I just, I can't imagine not having a job. I just, I can't imagine not working. It, I don't, I don't know. It's not, it, sitting at home is not for me, and I, I need somewhere to be, you know, like, I need, I need, because to me, it kind of gives me a purpose. I like having my kids. I love my kids, but I need, I need more than just that. I need, I need a place to be. I need somewhere to be and something to do. I mean, that's how I feel. It just makes me feel good. It makes me happy. And if I didn't have that, I just, I think I would be so depressed. So I, I like to work. I really like to work. So it's, uh, I don't know. I just do. I'm just, I just like to work. So I feel, I feel good. I feel good. Now, is it going to work out? I don't know. It may not work out for some, some reason. They may not get approval to, because it's a position they would kind of have to create and they have to get approval from the higher ups to do that. It may not work out. They may come back and say, yeah, sorry, we can't offer you that. Um, we actually did not get approval for that. And the other thing that we had discussed, I'm not really interested in. And I, I was, I was very candid about it. I said, you know, it's, I appreciate it, but I, I'm not really looking to do that. So, um, but we'll, I mean, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not, it's all right. I'm not worried about it. It's okay. I'm good. So well, here we are at the North Elm Street Goodwill store. I used to come here a lot because I used to live kind of close to this Goodwill store. And a lot of my kids' clothes when they were little bitty came from this store because we lived like five minutes from here, used to, many years ago when they were small. And uh, I would come in here with them. Lord, I can remember my, my younger son being just a little bitty baby and coming in here and finding stuff. Because, you know, kids outgrow their clothes so fast, I you know, and I couldn't afford to go out and buy them, you know, like expensive stuff anyway. I didn't have any money. So this place, this place was a godsend. I mean, I, I was just so happy to have it. I'm trying to figure out where I put my keys. They're right there. My card. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update on that. I did see Wally this morning. That's the first time I've seen him in several days. I don't know where he's been. He's been gone, so... But he did come by this morning, and he ate, and he looks good. He looks fine. He seems, he's a little underweight, but he, he had gotten kind of a little chunky. He's lost all that. He's a little underweight, but he's, he's okay. He's not limping. He doesn't appear to have any injuries or anything. Um, I'm going to reset the traps. There's one still set out there, but he's, he doesn't pay any attention to it. Um. I don't know, but he's he's okay. He's all right. But have we caught him yet? No, no. I'm just glad to see that he's he's doing okay. He's walking fine. He doesn't have a limp or anything. His leg looks much better. Um. So, other than that, there's not a lot going on. But my my dad actually just called me, and I I need to call him back before I go in to see what's going on. I've been meaning to call him all week, and I keep forgetting. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him before I go in. But happy Friday to you. It is Friday. I'm very excited. So what am I going to do for a video today? I'm going to go, I, if I get, if I find good stuff, either in this Goodwill or, or the one on Battleground, I'm going to do a little show and tell of the stuff that I purchased in a whisper. And that's what I'm planning on doing today. That's my, that's my ultimate goal is to find some cool stuff um, with my 25% off that I can use or I can, somebody I know can use. Um, I'm not shopping for anybody today. I don't know anybody who needs anything, but I want to see what we find. 
and uh, and so that's the plan. But we'll see it. We'll see how it goes. I may not find anything. I don't know. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I strike out. I don't find anything. But you don't know if you don't go check it out. Check it out. So that's what I'm doing. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. I really hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.